The real big disparity in, um, in gender or race in this business is money. Network is where the money is in television. You know, ABC is different than a, you know, a UPN or a CW. I think even in my own career, and I'm not the only one, I think a lot of times from a broader perspective, like networks would launch their networks off of the storytelling of a very niche audience, be black being niche. So we build up an audience and then we sort of, you know, uh, we snatch the show away and we put on what we really wanted to put on. <laughs> when the WB was created, when UPN was created, that's how I got my opportunity. If you think about those shows, some of the, 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 the lower budget scripted programming were black comedies. They built a night or they built a network and then they sort of wiped them out. I remember when Fox went through the change, they got football and all of a sudden all the black shows, not just South Central, but like Living Color, which was a huge hit. Eventually, all the black shows just went away on Fox. When the WB and UPN merged to the CW, again, girlfriends in the game helped launch it, and as soon as they get what they really want, then you, you go bye-bye. If, if you know your history, and I know my history, the slaves built this country for free, and so I think that correlation, and then would just do away with you, and yeah, everything's great. When you know that, sometimes it can be numbing, and you're like, ugh. Oh, you know, it feels like an uphill battle. But I'm also a spiritual person, and I believe that I also am a part of this sort of, I'm here for a reason. <laughs>